Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan. Today, we are once again here at the TNT Fireworks 10 in Marquette Township at the Meyer in the parking lot. And we are actually standing here with uh, Marquette County Sheriff Greg Zyber. And we're going to, of course, when we talk about 4th of July and we're here, we're here fireworks, we have to talk a little bit about safety, uh, making sure you keep yourself, your family, everyone around you safe. So, um, Sheriff Zyber, kind of looking at, um, even if someone wants to set off their own fireworks, what are some things that people should be uh, keeping in mind? Well, first of all, you should know what the state law and your local laws are. Um, as far as the times, uh, the locations, it has to be on private property. You can't go into a park. You can't go on public property and start setting them off. And then, of course, um, there's the things, you know, dogs, pets, uh, some uh, drive some dogs nuts, you know, and then you have veterans. So uh, take that into account also. But the, the law is um, uh, June 29th, and because the uh, 4th of July is on a Friday up to uh, July 5th until 11.45 p.m. And Sheriff, if you catch people lighting off fireworks outside of those times, because even though it goes until July 5th, after 11.45 p.m. on July 4th, you still can't technically light off fireworks in the middle of the night. What are the repercussions if you do? Well, it's a misdemeanor, and, um, you know, there are fines and costs and um, possible, you know, if you're... Uh, not be a nice guy, you could go to jail for it. Yeah. So um, absolutely, uh, the, there are repercussions for uh, breaking the law. Do you find that you give people tickets for this matter every year, or are people do people tend to follow the rules around here? You know, uh, of course, I always uh, emphasize common sense. Yeah. But um, sometimes people have too much to drink and they do stupid things, and then uh, because of that, we have to. Uh, do what we have to do but for the most part if you know we try and warn people and we teach them and uh, advise them and if they continue to do it then we have to do what we have to do and then on the topic of having too much to drink because it's the 4th of July people are not at work people are going to barbecues to picnics they're celebrating with some alcohol that's just a really important reminder to stay off the roads designate a driver Absolutely. We're going to have in, increased enforcement. All the different agencies will have extra people on, and we will be specifically looking for drunk or drugged drivers um, because there are so many people on the road. It just emphasizes the, uh, you know, the dangers of it. And, of course, keep in mind while you are on the road that parades are happening Friday, Saturday. So there might be some road closures. There might be extra pedestrians on the street. So, again... Use your patience when you're driving around. It might take you a little bit longer, but you don't want to hit anybody. Right. You want to watch out. So also maybe uh, if, if you are going to a parade, just check out those routes so that you know what areas to avoid so you can stay as safe as possible. Yeah, leave ahead of time uh, and know, uh, you know, call ahead of time what, where are the routes and where are the people going to be. Do you see an uptick in certain incidents, whether it be drunk driving, people mishandling fireworks, or people just being rowdy on the roads when a lot of pedestrians are out during this holiday? Well, 4th of July is probably, uh, our jail gets full. Yeah. Probably more so than any other time of the year. Even uh, like uh, New Year's Eve or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, they start early with softball or there's a lot going on and of course usually alcohol or drugs are involved and so uh, we are a lot busier and our jail gets filled. Wouldn't want to be in the jail. Um, would, it wouldn't want to celebrate the 4th of July in handcuffs, because then is it really even a celebration at that point? I don't no. think it is. But another thing to keep in mind, too, littering. That's still illegal. Don't leave your trash on the beach. What would happen uh, if people do leave their trash behind or they're caught drinking, smoking on the beach? Well, I think because in years past we had those incidents uh -huh. on the beach where they just left a, a mess. Um, we're going to be looking for that at different agencies. And, you know, if we catch you, to me, I, I hate that. I see yeah. someone throw something out, even a cigarette butt, I'd stop them. So, um, yes, you will be, uh, uh -huh. you know, and you will have to answer. And that's a very steep, uh, hefty fine for that ticket. And it's such... It, <laughs> It's so avoidable, too. Just, if you packed it in, you clearly have room, space to right. carry it out with exactly. you. Exactly. Like, I even, like, keep trash, like, in my pockets or something like that. Like, if it's, like, a, a gum wrapper or something mm -hmm. like that, like, I'll just put it in my pocket and wait for the next bin that rolls by. Because there are plenty of bins, especially when you're out in, like, parks like that. Right. So. You might just have to walk 
10 yards or something. No, heaven forbid you have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Cyber, is there anything else people should keep in mind this weekend as they head out to celebrate the 4th of July? Well, just, um, you know, supervise your kids mm -hmm. uh, if you're using the fireworks and um, heat. I think we're going to be getting some warm weather now coming. Mm -hmm. We've been pretty fortunate so far, but, um, you know, leaving kids and dogs and cars, that's always a, a really big one. And, uh, you know, as I get older, I know I forget stuff in the back seat, mm -hmm. and uh, God forbid something like that ever happens. So be aware of the temperatures, you know, check on your neighbors. If it is getting real hot, if you have elderly or people are handicapped, uh, check on them. And, you know, just the basic summer things that you have to, we don't have it that long a, a period. So it's, it's new to us and we sometimes forget, but, you know, these heats, when it gets in the 90s and that, it, it can be very dangerous. And it sounds to me that tomorrow is going to be a nicer day. Probably not as hot as, you know, some 4th of July's that we've had in the past. We're getting a break from some rain. It's going to be sunshiny. People are going to be outside all day. So drink your water. Make sure you're eating. Just uh, consider, consider your health and safety when you're celebrating. I wanted to thank you for your time here yeah, this absolutely. morning. Oh, great. All have a happy fourth. Have a very happy fourth. Hopefully you're not uh, dragging anybody off of the beach this holiday. Hopefully you guys stay very not busy yeah. this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, we still have to take another break. When we come back, we're going to go over some firework do's and don'ts.